Now, this is the, the small tube fly I'm going to be tying. This is a, a fly that a friend of mine has been tying uh, for, for quite a few years, and he calls it the rusty nail. Who basically is the, the bucktail used is this one. This is one I've been using anyway. This is a hot orange been dyed fiery brown. So I bought the hot orange bucktail and the dyed it fiery brown. Uh, some would call it a root beer. It's a root beer colour. It's a great colour in flies. But this fly here, um, the rusty nail has been very successful over the last few years. And uh, as I say, a friend of mine, Harry, ties this. And it's a pattern of uh, I would certainly recommend. I'm just holding it so you can see it through a needle. Uh, normally you would thread your nylon through, through the back, and you tie on a hook, and or you, what you need to then is add a sleeve to it. And you, this is a fluorescent orange one, you could use a clear, even black, to darken it down. It just depends on the colour of the water. If it's a wee bit coloured, this fluorescent orange works extremely well. So this is the fly I'm going to be tying, the rusty nail. Now, to tie the rusty nail, I'm tying it on a three-quarter inch slipstream. This is a, a slipstream tubes. Now, uh, these are great tubes, uh, especially when you want to fly down a wee bit. And uh, very popular in the waters that I fish here in Ayrshire. Uh, the Dune, Stinsha, Air, any of these waters uh, where you want the fly to. So, not very big waters, or small spate rivers, and you want the fly you don't have the advantage of using a full sinking line or anything, so you use the fly to get down and so the copper tube works extremely well. And the quarter inch is basically equivalent to a size 8. Half inch, size 10, inch, size 6, so that's the way I measure it. So, so anyway, I've, what I've done here is this is just a, it's a square needle as I call it. It's ideal for stopping the rotation of the tube. Just basically stops it twisting. If it's a round needle it'll just continue to go around with the square. I made this myself. Just a flat piece of uh, wire and uh, and then just file it flat and it's it's fine. Now the thread I'm going to be using for the head basically just to brighten the head is a fire orange thread in the Uni 80. You have waxed the thread so we start at the top of the tube and we work our way down. At this point, I'm just going to remove the waste. The rib of the fly is a, co is a gold. You can use copper or gold. Uh, I'm just using a gold wire. This is a, a small for the size. And I'm just going to use that. I'm going to wind it down. Oops, it slipped. Start again. Just make sure it's well tied in. You've got a reasonably smooth surface to wind your tinsel on. Now I'm going to wind this down to about, say, a centimetre before the end of the tube. You need this area to put a sleeve in, and I use, you can use a fluorescent sleeve just to brighten up. That will slide on, and what this does, it helps to hold your hook. Now, just to hold it in place, sort of bit wrapping the, the fly. Now I'm using, this is an old gold, this is a male fly craft gold. It's just a silver and gold tinsel, but it's, it's a very... Old gold as I'd call it, but it's a strong colour. And for the rusty nail it suits it fine. We catch this in. And we just wind up. All the way up to the head length from the end of the tube. And then we wind our body up. Nice. Space your tinsel out. You can style over it. Overlap the last turn as you wind up just to make sure you're covering it to this point here. These are very simple flies. This is tied in the style of the Red Devil, so I mean it's like the wing, it's exactly the same way I would do it if it was going to be tying the same fly. The rib, what I do then is a couple of turns onto the actual copper to make sure that's locked in at the back, and then we rib the fly nice and tight. All the way up. Usually like a nice straight turn. Come up, follow it with the thread and put a 90 degree bend in. That locks in your, your rib. I mean that's protecting your body so you've got to make sure it's well tied in. Just bend and break away. Make sure you wax on your thread. So it's nice and tight. 
Now for the bucktail, what I've done is basically hot orange. This originally was a hot orange bucktail and I've dyed it fiery brown. And that gives you, it's close to what they used to call root beer, which is a good colour. So root beer is a orange or a fiery brown. So the easiest way is to buy a hot orange and use a Venus fiery brown and you'll get this colour here. Then what we're going to do is take off enough to form the wing. So I'm going to, I'm going to stack it so make sure there's no under fluff or anything like that. I basically line up the tips first before I try to stack it. You could just, well I'd do it times, just line up the ends and then tie it on but I want to get as much out of this as I can so by stacking the bucktail you will get more of a fibre. Tips first into your stacker, tap it on your desk, just take your time. Just check the ends have lined up and it's fine, remove it from the stacker. It's lengthwise, now I'm just going to slightly open these, it's too, you can see it's very straight. We just can slightly move them around to more natural looking. Not too much, but enough just to take away that straight edge. Now I like twice the tube length for the wing. So there's one, two, and then what I do, make sure, first before we go any further, we watch our thread. Now you could put a flash on just now, a flash on after, it's up to yourself. So there's my measure again, just double check. And then encourage the fibres to roll round with the thread as you wind and then tighten up and then just pull out the fibre, just check that you've got it all the way around and that's fine again it's important that you wax your thread at this point it gives your thread plenty of grip and strength and then we just take our time and trim away the ends of the bucktail here Stains all the way around. Making sure the thread stays out of the way when you're cutting. I'm just making sure there's no fibres coming over into the tube. But it doesn't matter. I mean, if it does, I mean, it's you tie it to your cell. Nice and tight. Make, always make sure your hair's well tied in. You've got a nice bright head anyway, so. So this will bring on. Now I've got, again, I've got this crystal flash in gold, like an old gold if you want to call it. So I've got a couple of strands, I went two strands down either side. Full length of the wing. So I just basically catch two on my side. Just by this, just wind it or just bring it over, fold it with the thread and catch it on the other side. And then tighten up the head, tie in the, the flash, and we trim this the length of the wing. The optional is the jungle coat. You can put it on. It's normally tied on the fly. So we just draw this back. When it, I'm tying it the full length. So with two jungle coat guys, you're seeing the underside just now. Because what I'm gonna do then is just fold them so the outside shoe shows. And I went in full length of the tube. Just fold them down one either side. Three or four turns just to you want to position the jungle cock. Just checking, that looks okay. Now I'm going to fold these back. I don't mind the fibres being folded back because basically what that, that helps to hold the feather when you do that. Again, wax your thread for the grip. And then work your way up, just forming the head with the thread, tidying up. You may get the odd bit of flash showing through can cover it with some, if you want to use a red varnish, if you don't like it. I want the fire orange thread, so I'm quite happy just to be patient enough and tidy up. 
the thread turns just forget that everything at this point is straight in the whip finish and then trim away the thread trim away the waist end of the jungle cock and there we are, basically that's that's Harry's rusty nail, it's a friend of mine who ties these and this was a top fly season past it's been so for a few years, it's a, it's a good pattern, it's a good colour this ready or the fiery brown colour works now what I'm doing here is I'm just applying some super glue, this is the, uh, the Fully Mill easy brush type super glue where you can apply dries really quick all the way around just allow that to set or to dry and it doesn't take long and then a couple of coats of varnish and that there's the rusty nail and uh, as I say it's a good it's a good tube fly bring the jungle cock out so you can see it this style works extremely well if you need a fly to drop into the fast water the, the copper tubes work you can use tungsten uh, you can use alloy, you can use plastic in the same, same fly now that should be a bit dry and then what I do just quickly this is just a vineyard varnish, clear varnish all the way around Now once that's set, allow the varnish to dry, you need a wee bit longer with the varnish uh, then give it another coat or two if you wish and then you've got a nice bright fire orange head which really makes a difference in, I find it makes a difference in a lot of flies, I love the, this head, that type of head, that colour uh, and a lot of my flies and then you can obviously attach the sleeve when you want, you can either have it clear or enhance the colour with the orange which will and about colour in the water, they really do like that as well and that's your rusty nail um, tie them in different sizes a quarter inch is the middle of the road half inch, one inch, inch and a quarter depending on the height of the water so I hope you enjoyed that and that's your rusty nail <laughs>